So I cannot believe, but I ran out of phone storage. I, obviously I shoot all of this footage with my iPhone 6 Plus, and yes, I'm stupid and I don't keep it in a case, but I think it's just so cool without the case. Anyway, I ran out of the storage, ran out of storage space, 64 gig, can you believe it? Uh, so I finally got a bunch of crap off my phone, so I believe I can start recording some. I'm lifting with Dylan today. Um, we are doing abs. We're doing some hamstring curls and leg extensions. I'm not doing a whole lot of legs, as some of you may already know. I don't really want to have my mind focused on squats, and I do a little bit of deadlifting but not really focusing on a whole lot of compound movements for lower body as I get myself um, trimmed up for this show. I will say though, I had a fantastic meeting last night with a very good friend of mine who's got a um, Instagram page. You, if you wanna check it out, it's Eat Yourself Fit. It's at Eat Yourself Fit, and I believe there's underscores in between each word. But his name is Ricardo. He's one of my really good buddies. We talked for about two and a half hours last night regarding nutrition and competition prep and this and that. He loves the nutrition stuff. I don't. I love the exercising. I love doing that kind of stuff. I love exploring the science of exercise science and this and that and forces upon angles and this and that and how it affects the body and what's safe and what's not safe and if this is your weak area how do you make that stronger without sacrificing something else yada 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 that's my kind of thing that's what I love that's why I'm a trainer I'm not a nutritionist I'm not a dietitian or anything like that he's going through some schooling right now and is admittedly he's in better shape than I am when it comes to be staying lean and staying healthy doing that so anyway we kind of reset my macros a little bit. We're, it's gonna take time to get it exactly where I want it to be. I feel like, I think we figured out my fats were a little bit too low. So I reset my macros and my calories. They have bumped up about 200 calories, maybe some 200 and change uh, since what I had the past three weeks. But you know, I'm really excited about uh, using some of these insider tips and tricks that he has that have worked for him in the past. So, you know, I guess time will tell what these things do for me and I think I'll really start seeing myself leaning out quicker and looking better and feeling better and still having energy for my lifts, this and that. So I've got a new slew of things that I'm really excited about and yeah, vlogging as much as I can but still not doing the best I could possibly do with it. So day by day. Moment by moment, you try to be better at the things that are important to you, set a goal, and you chase it. So, I'm gonna go train a client, and guess what I'm gonna do? One of my goals is to bust some serious butt in the gym today. So, this is meal number two for me. Today is Thursday, and this is pretty much an even split of what my macros are over the six to seven meals that I'm supposed to have per day. Like I said, after consulting with my buddy who's more uh, knowledgeable on the nutrition side of things, he's kind of handling all of this for me. And he highly, highly recommends the six to seven meals a day. And then whatever your macros are, just basically divide it by six or seven. I divide it by six. And that is what I should have macro wise at each meal. So you're looking at 35 carbs, I've got rice up under here. So it's not a whole lot, it's three, it's three quarters of a cup of rice. I've got a ton of egg whites, but these are like weird egg beaters, so they're yellow looking. But um, whatever. Some green beans, a little bit of carb content there, but more just to make sure that I'm getting some dark veggies. And then I needed, I only had two and a half grams of fat here. So I have one tablespoon of Peter Pan natural creamy peanut butter. And two scoops has 17 grams in it, or two tablespoons. So I'm just gonna take one tablespoon of it. Really trying to bump my water intake up as much as possible. Prepping myself for dehydrating through um, peak week so I don't have to completely cut water. I can just lower my water and still get the same um, result. So that's what we're doing. Meal two, 
done. I just uploaded episode three of of the vlogs. So yes, it's going good. It's going good. It's going great, and it will continue to skyrocket because I am staying positive, and I am not gonna let dieting knock me down. See you in the next clip. Got a question for you all. How many of you have ran out of gas? Comment, let me know. <laughs> Make me feel a little bit better. I almost ran out of gas. I actually had to have Megan, my fiance, follow me to the gas station just to make sure because I didn't want to be stranded if I could help it. I love this song. FGL, baby. I hated country. I hated it for so long. I'm a fan, baby. I'm a fan. I like this. Good stuff. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Some of you, some of you out there don't give country a chance. It's like poppy. It's kind of poppy. That's right. Tampa Bay. So it's going to be pretty close. The wider your feet, the less wobbly you'll be. And all the way down. Exactly. Going to 11. <laughs> Gee, Megan, you got more shoulder strength than we do. I know. Hey. Nice. Your elbows under it. Ooh. Good. It's 12. Yep. I'm a good counter.
So this exercise right here, you don't see it a whole lot, but it's great. It's called face pulls. You basically are pulling the middle of the rope to your forehead. So we're traps, so your upper, upper back, same upper back, and rear delts as well. So it is a shoulder day. We've hit the, the front, hit the sides, and now we're gonna move on to the back. So try this one out if you're looking for something. Reverse flies kind of get old for me, and sometimes it messes with my shoulder, so this is a really good way to uh, hit the same muscle without, without doing reverse flies, basically. Weight. So start start nice and low, 20 pounds. What I just did was 50 pounds there, and I'm never really gonna go much heavier than that. Stick high volume with this one. Try it out. See what you think. <laughs> 